Warning. This series finale contains strong language and a lot of stupidity. If this kind of content is too inappropriate for you, leave the video now. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Thank you, and have a great day. Oh man, I am so bored right now. I am pissed off that my parents took the Xbox and computer away from me, which means I have nothing to do in this house. I need to do something right shitty ass now, but what? Man, I have no idea. I don't know, maybe I will just go for a walk or something. Hopefully that will help. Man, I am still bored. Nothing exciting happens in the world. It's just boring us trees and grass over and over again. I just want something cool to happen today. What the hell? Where did that sound come from? Oh boy. The material exploded. It looks like I am going to have to change some tweaks to this laser gun. I need to go change into something cleaner. Hey, is this where that weird science guy lives at? I have heard people say he has cool stuff in his basement that you would see in science movies. I'm gonna see what stuff this guy has. Holy shit. He actually has these things. This is so fucking cool. He has laser guns and robots and a lightsaber. This guy should sell all of this stuff to make a shitload of money. How did I not see this before? No fucking way. He actually has a time machine? Is this a dream right now? I thought I would never see one in my life. I wonder if it works. Time machine under maintenance. Do not use. Property of Plotagon Industries. Eh, who cares what that stupid sign says? I am gonna go back in time anyway. I want to go way back and see dinosaurs. Let's do it. Holy shit. It actually worked? This is crazy, I actually traveled back in time. Holy crap, these dinosaurs are awesome looking. I can't believe this is all real right now. This is the best day of my fucking life. Oh shit. That T-Rex is gonna get me. I have to get the hell out of here. Phew, it's a good thing I didn't get eaten by that dinosaur. But holy shit. That was so cool. I can go anywhere I want at any time. There are so many things to do with this awesome time machine, that I don't even know where to begin. HMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMM
you have no idea what might happen to time itself if you interact with the past. Blah blah blah. I don't care. I'm gonna go back to the time when this country was created in 1776. Smell you later. Wait, kid, don't. No. Oh no, this is not good. Not good at all. This is it. Alright, let's go look for that place where those people signed the Declaration of Independence. Wait, wow 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 what? Who in the name are you little one? What is that advice? Where do you come from? Hello history dude, my name is Kevin. I am from the future in the year 2020. I am from the United States. Wait, America actually thrives? Yes, it does. It's bigger, better, and kicks so much ass. Hey, I got a question. Yes, young man? Where is Thomas Jefferson at? I need to talk to him. He is at the Independence Hall. Jefferson and 55 other delegates are about to sign the Declaration of Independence as we speak. Can you take me to him? I got a message for him. I also have never been here before. Yes, little one, I can do that. Right this way. Yes! Thanks, dude. You're very welcome, future little one. At the Independence Hall. Gentlemen, this Declaration of Independence will send a clear message to the throne that we are a sovereign nation and finally free of their tyranny. Hey, what's up, you guys? Wait a minute, what? Who are you, kid? My name is Kevin, and I come from the future in the year 2020. Are you Thomas Jefferson? Yes, I am Thomas Jefferson. How do you know my name? Like I said, I'm from the future. And you must be John Hancock. Yes, that is my name. Holy shit, I got that right. I just randomly guessed your name. What are you doing here, kid? Did you come here from the future to give us a message, or are you here to fool around? I'm here to give you guys a message. I come from America in the future, and I just want to say that it is bigger and better, and is one of the best countries in the world. Wait, did you just say America is bigger and better in the future? I sure did. It kicks so much ass. Hold on a second little one, if you really are from the future like you claim you are. I want you to prove to me you really are from the future. How did you get here? Did you use some sort of device that's not invented yet to get here? I used a time machine. I can show you guys, it's next to the boats. HMMMMM. Okay, let's go see it young man. I want to see if you are telling the truth. This is it. This is your time machine from the future? By the gods, how does it work? You just press some buttons on what time and year you want to go to, and bam, we go there. This is unbelievable. May we go to the year you come from? Yes, I can show you Jefferson. That's what I came here for. Let's go. If what you say is true about this time machine of yours, can you promise me that I return back here? Yeah, sure thing dude. John Hancock, I want you to stay here just in case this device works and that I make it back here safely. Do I make myself clear? Yes sir Mr. Jefferson. I will wait here. Here we are. Oh, my. We actually went to the future? So this is what the year 2020 looks like? Yep, this is it. Looks cool, am I right? Hey kid, what is that giant machine that moves as fast as a horse over there? That is called a car. We don't need dumbass horses to get us around, instead we got cars to take more than two people in different places. Is that a giant bird up in the sky? Nope, that's called an airplane. Instead of traveling for days and days and days on boats and horses, you can fly to places instead. 
If only we had airplanes in our time. Everyone would not have to waste time on boats to get to other countries, like us. The future is cool, isn't it? Yes, it is fantastic. I praise the people who have grown America into a great nation that the future has made. This is beyond what me, or John Hancock, or anybody could ever imagine in our lifetimes. Okay my little friend, I want to go back to my time now. Okay Mr. Jefferson, will do. Oh. My. Goodness. This is unbelievable. What I have just witnessed today. Yeah. Same here Mr. Hancock. So. What is it like? What does America look like in the future? You should have seen it John. It was fantastic. The country was well developed and well established more than I ever could imagine. They have these things called cars and airplanes in the future. Which are faster than horses and boats. Excuse my language sir. But. Holy crap. I don't know what a car and an airplane are, but they sound like great inventions for the future of America. Thank you Mr. Kevin for showing me the future of this country and bringing me back here. In my mind, I had some concern the country may not be established. Thank you young man. Yeah, you're welcome. I do have one question though. I know you said you came here to show me what America looks like, but is there a specific reason why you came here? America is a great country, but it's not great enough. What do you mean by that Kevin? You said this country is cool, and it kicks ass, did you not? I did, but it's not the way it should be. I think the country is not free enough, and people should be able to do whatever they want without stupid rules getting in the way. But here's the thing Kevin, rules are made so everyone in society can stay safe. If there are no rules, everyone will start causing violence, and eventually society will fall into chaos. Actually Jefferson, that's not really true. It's the opposite. Rules make people pissed because some rules are stupid and I have no idea why some are even there. People may look happy, but they are thinking rules are nothing but bullshit, and sometimes people go and protest about it. I think I should be the leader of this nation, because I want this country to be better than it can ever be in history ever. I think people will be a lot happier and a lot safer with me as the President of the United States. Even with the things you are saying, you can't be the leader Kevin, you are too young. You simply don't have any experience being a leader. With a time machine, that doesn't matter. I can do whatever the hell I want with this awesome machine. I came here so I can bring the whole world together and make it a better place by making changes. Wait. Do you really think you can make the world a better place? Do you think it is possible, despite your age? With this time machine, anything is possible. I can stop things from happening, take people to different times, and a bunch of other things. That's why I think I am best fit for the leader of this country, and maybe, the whole world. I can't do this by myself Thomas. Would you like to help me make the most badass country in the whole wide world? Yes, Mr. Kevin. It would be an honor, and a privilege. Yes! You can count me in too, sir. I would be privileged to help too. Okay, this is cool, you guys. Come on, let's go, and build the greatest country the world will ever see. Yes, sir, Mr. Kevin. Let's do it. <laughs> Meanwhile, in present day, Honey, it looks so beautiful outside today. We all should go on a hike. I agree honey, it's beautiful today. Kevin's out in the backyard, I will let him know. Honey, what is that strange noise? I don't know, but I don't like the sound of it. Uh, what the hell happened? And what happened to my clothes? Oh, 
Oh my god honey. Everything in this room all of the sudden got messy. I wonder how that happened. Oh man, I need to go and make sure Kevin is okay. Kevin? Kevin? Kevin can you hear me? Oh, this is not good. No no no. I can't find Kevin. Kevin? Kevin where are you? Honey, he's not in the backyard. He's not anywhere in this house either. Come on honey, let's take my car, and go around town and look for him. Oh no, I hope nothing happened to my baby. I wonder how he could disappear in our own backyard, it just makes no sense. It'll be okay honey, we will find him. I just hope he's not in danger or anything. Honey, is it me, or does this street look different? Some of these houses look like they got a redesign. Wait a minute, is that a SWAT officer? I'm going to ask him for help. Sir, I need your help. Hey buddy, step back. We are in the middle of arresting this fucking asshole. Sir, I am looking for my 7 year old son. He has an orange hat, a purple shirt with a scowl on it, blue shorts, and red shoes. Can you help me find him? You are going to need a lot of luck looking for your son sir, because everyone wears the same kind of clothes your son does. What do you mean everyone wears the same clothes as my son? I mean, everyone wears the same clothes as your son, you dumbass. How come you are not wearing the president's clothes? You are supposed to wear an orange hat, a purple shirt with a scowl on it, blue shorts, and red shoes. Lucky for you. I just happened to have a couple of pairs of our president's clothing, or you would have been arrested for not following dress code. Wait, what? The president's clothing? Honey, this is weird. I wonder why we have to wear our son's clothes. What the hell is going on around this town? The living room becomes messy out of the blue. We can't find Kevin. The dress code is apparently what Kevin wears. Police officers look different than normal and use curse words. Some houses and buildings look different, and all of these people act weird. Wait a minute, is that a giant TV screen up on that building? Good afternoon, citizens of Kevin City, formerly known as Plotagon City. My name is Mr. Robot, the news anchor of Kevin City News Network. On today's news, the president of the world, Kevin Tyler Davidson, has ordered these following people to be arrested and be sentenced to life in prison. These people are David Davidson, Melissa Davidson, James Body, Angus Flicker, Deborah Bitchfield, and Richard DeQuad. If anyone sees any of these wanted suspects, please contact the Kevin City Police Department. They are considered a threat to the freedom that we stand for in our world and they must be stopped immediately. Do not kill these suspects. I repeat, do not kill these suspects. Now, on to the next story. Wait, what? Did that robot just say Kevin is the president of the world? This can't be true. Wait, did he say that we are wanted fugitives? Oh. My. God. It's the fugitives from the news. Hey, it's those fugitives. We need to stop them, or else they will destroy our way of life. Young people don't know any better these days. They must be stopped. Hey, you two. Stop right there. Come. Run! Hey, stop now. Oh no, this is not good. Not good at all. What do we do, honey? I don't know honey. I just, I just don't know. To be honest, I've never been this scared in my entire life. Hey, you two. Follow me. Listen officer, me and my wife didn't do anything wrong. I said, follow me, now. What is this place? Come on. Come this way. Okay, now. Now that you guys are here, you can use a change of clothes. 
instead of what you are wearing. Wait, what? Mr. Fucker? Are you really a police officer of this world? Only to go undercover. Sorry I scared you guys, I had to make it look good for the security cameras, because the police watches them, and they watch closely. Well, I'm glad you are safe from the police in the world, being you are undercover. David and Melissa? I'm glad you two are safe. When the world changed, my house looked like it was destroyed by a bomb. I was confused and very scared. Thankfully Mr. Fucker took me here to this place I have never seen before where it's safe. Same here. When I was on my way home from getting groceries, my house looked like the site of a bombing. Thankfully I am safe here, and that you guys are okay. Well, we're glad you guys are safe too. It's just hard to process that we are labeled as fugitives. This makes the world feel unsafe now, and I don't like it at all. Hey Mr. Fucker, what is this place? This looks like a government building. It's an old military base. This is the base of the Abomination Resistance. The Abomination Resistance? Who are they? The Abomination Resistance was created five years ago, to stop in our destroy abominations and pieces of shits in the world, so no future generations have to know who or what they are, and also so they don't have to create or continue shit from existing. My name is Ryan, also known as Unit 1, and I am the leader of this resistance. My name is Kyle, the second in command of the resistance, and also Ryan's brother. Me, Ryan, and a handful of people turned this abandoned Cold War military base, and turned it into our own, with some modifications we made. David and Melissa, you guys already know by now, that the world has changed a lot, and it did out of the blue. Yeah, and already, I don't like it, at all. I feel unsafe out there. I just have many things going through my mind right now. I wonder, how did the world change so fast? How did my seven-year-old son become the president of the world? How is all of this stuff going on even possible? It's just confusing right now. Dr. Rod Sachs has answers to all your questions. Here he comes now. Hello, are you two Kevin's parents? Yes we are. I'm David, and this is my wife, Melissa. You two follow me to the weapons developing room. On the way, you guys can change to something better. After Kevin's parents got a change of clothes, and then went to the weapons developing room. So, what do you do Rod Isaacs? -Is? Are you part of this resistance? I am not. I am a scientist who works on teleportation and weapon technology for Plotagon Industries at a research facility, which is located 5 miles north outside of this town. I believe I know what happened in this world, according to my research and knowledge of space and time. Okay, well what do you think happened? What happened that led to this world my son made? I had assignments I had to do in my own home, because not only do I work at the research facility, but I worked in my basement, which is big enough to do my work. I had to work on my time machine and my laser gun, but when the laser gun experiment I was working on was not going what I expected, I made a mess on my clothes and I had to change. Then, when I returned to the basement, I saw your son Kevin in my time machine, which was not tested yet, and thought was to not be completed at the time. Wait a minute, did you just say you have a time machine? Yes. It was a top secret project until now. I believe your son went back in time to the year 1776, somehow became the president most likely by convincing our founding fathers that he is the right person for a leader, and then made himself look like a god to these people. I do believe strongly he did go back to 1776, because basically all of American history is replaced with Kevin and his history, and a lot of world countries and cities and everything else got renamed, and Washington DC now holds the biggest prison the world has ever seen, instead of where the White House and the Capitol building should be at. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there are churches in the world named after Kevin, because they see him as a god, and they believe Kevin is a 300 year old and a 7 year old body, who is here to be the savior of humanity. No, freaking, way. Our son used your time machine, and basically changed world history itself? For the most part, yes. 
We need to stop him, because the space-time continuum is being disrupted as we speak, because the past, present, and future are colliding together because of his actions, and if we don't stop him, the world itself, will, not, exist. Oh, my, freaking, God. That does not sound good. This is very bad. Yes, it is very bad. It's very crucial that we stop him as soon as we can, or he's going to do more than he already did now. Dr. Isaacs, where are... David and Melissa Davidson, I am pleased you two are safe underground with me, my son, my followers, Kevin's teachers, and everyone else. I am very happy and glad you two are safe here with me, my father, his followers, Kevin's teachers, and everyone else as well. Your guys' presence makes me feel very warm and relieved. I am glad you two are safe as well. Thankfully you two are safe. I could not be happier that you two are safe underground from the horrible world that was unleashed upon us. David and Melissa? I was told you two were down here. Thankfully you guys are okay. Mr. and Mrs. Davidson? I am happy you two are safe. I don't know how Kevin became the leader of the whole world, but I don't like the look of it. Everyone is weird now. I have never met you guys before, but thankfully you guys are safe here. I saw it. I saw it all coming. Everything that has occurred today, is what I had a premonition of. What do you mean James? What do you mean you saw all of this? This world we have read now was something I saw on the peak of the mountains when me, my son, my followers, and Kevin went on our spiritual journey three months ago. In this vision I had, I saw this world we have now, but it was 30 years in the future. Everyone still dressed up as Kevin and the world looks more like a dystopia than right now. I am not sure what happens to you David, or Melissa, or any of you, but it seemed like I was still wanted after all these years. After my vision was over, I knew that my biggest responsibility at that point was to purify Kevin, and prevent this dark future from happening. I would attempt to see Kevin every day that I can, and when I do try to warn him and convince him to let me purify him, Kevin did not care what I had to say, and he would tell me to go away. Unfortunately, by the time all of this happens, I was too late, and right now I feel very responsible for what happened today. Don't feel bad about yourself, James. This is not your fault. You did the best you can, and I thank you for trying to help Kevin. Hopefully the leader of the resistance has figured out how to stop Kevin once and for all. Attention. Attention all resistance and non-resistance. This is Unit 1. Report to the control room immediately. I repeat, report to the control room immediately, when everyone gathered in the control room. Thank you for gathering here everyone. For those of you who may not know, a 7 year old boy named Kevin Davidson is now the president of the whole world, and he did this by using a time machine and, according to Dr. Rod I. Sachs of Polygon Industries, went back to the year 1776 and convinced our founding fathers he's the qualified leader of the world, and literally changed history. Now everyone, all of this may sound like a science fiction movie, but this is real life right now. Whether you believe in this or not, we need to take action and stop all of this. If we don't take action and stop Kevin from furthering his leadership, the space-time continuum will worsen than it already is, and eventually, life as we know it may not exist. Oh no, that's not good. This sounds as bad as when I first heard Neil Armstrong passed away back in 2012. Mamma mia. That's not good Mario. If there's no world, there's no Mario, and that means, no Nintendo. Mamma mia indeed Luigi. Hey! Everyone, now is not the time for panic. I need all of you to calm down. I know it's scary, trust me, I am on the same page. Panicking is going to make this situation worse, and I need you all to calm down. I got a plan to save the world, and according to Dr. Isaac's research on time travel, it should work. We are going to the Capitol building, which is where the town hall used to be, and remove Kevin from office, quite literally. We are going to remove him from office, 
and have him undo everything he has done to this world. This is how we are going to do it. We are waiting until it gets dark out to do this. Kevin's dad David and spiritual leader James are going to be taken to the Capitol building via being driven there by Mr. Fucker, which he will use a police van to get inside. David and James, you two are going to dress up as the police just like Mr. Fucker does when he goes undercover, and all you two do is go to the very top of the building, which is where Kevin's office is located, and stop him any way you can. He will be heavily guarded, so I will give you guys two of my stun guns, so you can take out the guards any way you can. While you two are doing that, me, my brother, and all of the resistance are going to cause a distraction to the police and army by destroying a nearby military base. Everyone else is going to stay here for their own protection and safety. You guys should load yourself with a weapon just in case anybody finds you guys. Any questions anyone? No sir. No sir Ryan. Sir no sir. No sir. I have no questions sir. Sir no sir. Alright guys. Let's get ready, and do this shit. You guys be safe out there. Do this not only for us, but the whole world. Okay honey, I will. And make sure Kevin is grounded big time. I got that part covered. I love you honey. I love you too David. Father, I hope you are safe, and that you are protected in the name of spirit. Not to worry my son. I will make sure no harm will come my way. James, I hope your journey to Kevin is a safe one. Not to worry Scott, I will be protected. If anything happens to me, you will take my place. Wait, what? James, I am unsure if I am even qualified for that. With our spirits guiding us, you will be qualified. Okay James. Be safe. You be safe as well Scott. Be safe James. Be safe James. Alright James, are you ready? Yes Mr. Fucker, I am ready. Good luck you guys. The whole world depends on you. Thanks Ryan. See you when we are done. Alright Resistance, let's go. Meanwhile with Kevin. Hello President Kevin. How was your travels? It was great Jefferson. Look who I brought. Hello Thomas Jefferson, my name is KD2021. I am a combat robot from the year 3020. Human civilization is very advanced, and there has not been any conflict for 900 years. Ooga, ooga, ninja. Ooga, 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 ooga. The caveman might need to learn a little English, but he will be a good bodyguard just like the robot. I've said this before, and I will say it again. I am very appreciative that you chose me to be the vice president of this wonderful world you have made. I enjoy every second of serving you. Yeah, you're welcome my dude. Man, having the power to do anything I want kicks fucking us. What the? What the hell was that? I have no idea sir. It sounded like it was close. I'm gonna go check at the balcony. Oh shit. The big ass army base got blown up. How is this even possible? That place has a shitload of guards. This is not good. Hello Plotagon City. This is Mr. Robot. Just recently this evening, President Kevin declared a state of emergency due to the destructive explosion that took place at the Big Ass Army base, which thankfully had zero casualties, but left guards and soldiers injured. President Kevin believes this is a terrorist attack by an unknown resistance group, who have been rumored to be established somewhere in our city. For the interest of public safety, all citizens must stay indoors. Do not leave your homes. Stay tuned for any further updates on this unusual situation. Oh fucking shit. 
Did he say something about a terrorist attack that happened? If what the robot says is true about what the president said and what things happened, I believe it. Let's get back home. Well guys, it seems like the distraction has worked. Almost every cop and soldier is going to that army base. Let's go hurry to the capitol building. Alright guys, I think we caused the distraction enough already. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, stop right there terrorist. I will knock you out with my knockout gun, so you don't take our freedoms away. Come on guys, let's hurry out of here before they knock us out, and imprison us for the rest of our lives. Alright guys, good luck in there. I'm going to help the resistance get out of the army base. Okay Mr. Fucker. Be careful. Be safe Mr. Fucker. I wish the best for you and everyone else. Thanks James. See you guys when the world goes back to normal. Alright James, the coast looks clear. Let's go. After you, Mr. Davidson. There's the elevator. So far, this seems very easy for a place that is heavily guarded. It most certainly seems that way, Mr. Davidson. Wait a minute, I feel something. Hold on a minute sirs, before you proceed to our leader, what is your purpose of seeing him? I, uh, have been told we need to help evacuate him out of the city. I have been told the resistance might come here and try to kill him. Oh, is that so? I have never been told such a thing. What are your ID numbers? Well, I, uh, our ID numbers are... Oh, 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 Hey, why did you shoot him? Oh, 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 Are you okay, Mr. Davidson? I'm okay, thank you. Come on, James. Let's hurry before more guards come. Yes, David. Phew, we made it to Kevin's office. You ready to end all of this nonsense? More than anything in this universe. Let's end this corruption Kevin has created today. Kevin, stop right there. Hey Dad, how are you doing? Take a look at this time machine I got. Kevin, I can't believe it. I can't believe what you have done to this world. Come on Dad. I made the world a lot better. I am the leader of this world, and I made everyone happy. It's not a big deal. You don't understand Kevin. You are ruining time, because you are bringing people an object from the past to this time period, and you have changed history in terrible ways. Also, what the hell? Are you telling your cops and soldiers to kill us? No dad, killing people is not allowed. I made it illegal. I told the cops and soldiers to use tranquilizers to knock you guys out, and put all of you to jail for the rest of your lives. You have brought a lot of corruption into this world, and even your already dark soul. The balance of the universe is very far off that we are on the brink of the world ending as we speak. It is very crucial that I purify your soul, and end your reign once and for all for the sake of the universe. Blah blah blah. I could fucking care less. Kevin, I'm afraid you will have to step down from your leadership, and fix everything that has occurred today. Hey, you two don't talk to our leader like that. You fuckers should respect him. Oh. My. Freaking. God. Thomas Jefferson? That's Vice President Jefferson to you asshole. You will never take our great leader away from us. If you got a problem with our leader and his ideologies on life, you got another thing coming, you fugitive bastard. John Hancock. You're here too? Oh hell yes I am. I am the secretary of the president. I give him whatever he wants, and I also do the work for him so he doesn't have to. I also make sure his leadership is not threatened. Okay, that's it, enough talking you guys. 
Jefferson, Hancock, KD2021, and Caveman, take these guys down, so they can go to jail for the rest of their lives. Yes sir Mr. President. It will be done. I can't believe I am about to fight historical figures. I do not feel comfortable fighting, but for the sake of this universe, we have no choice. You will not take this great leader away from this world. He will stay in power for all eternity. Combat mode engaged. Combat mode engaged. Alright robot, let's bring it on. Oh, that hurts so bad. I will do what I have to do to get covered, and you will not get in the way. Uga, 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 Uga. I am going to do what I will greatly regret. I am gonna kick your fucking ass. Oh no. We can make it, we're almost out of here. Right, help me. Buxton, no. Shit, the soldiers are overwhelming us. I do hope David and James stop Kevin as soon as possible so this madness can end. Shit, where's my stun gun? You will never remove our great leader from us. I will not allow it to happen. I am his father, and I say he should be. You have no influence over him, whether you are his father or not. This great leader has done so much for this world, and I will not allow his leadership to be threatened. It is time for you to be imprisoned for the rest of your life. Oh shit. Oh, 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 oh. Shutting down. Shutting down. Holy shit. James? Are you doing okay, David? Yes, James. I'm doing okay, and it looks to me like you are the same. Thanks for saving me there. You are very welcome, my great friend. Aw oh, crap. Come on, James. Let's go and stop Kevin. Oh yes, let's do so. Yes, I have finally found it. Stupid me, why the hell did I put this time machine all the way over here? I should have put it in my office, where I could have easily escaped from dad and that weirdo James. Well, whatever the case may be, let's go back and prevent these guys from trying to stop me in the first place. Kevin, stop right there. It's over. No dad, I will not do that shit. I will be the leader of this world for the rest of my life. To make sure of that, I will stop you guys from trying to stop me. Kevin, I need you to stop what you are doing now. You have caused enough damage to this universe. Blah 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 James, I don't fucking care. Kevin, you are to stop what you are doing right freaking now. You are grounded. Oh no! I am grounded. Boo hoo hoo. This sucks so much.
Dad, I am so powerful grounding me does nothing to me. I am still the ruler, and there is no one more powerful that can stop me. Actually, Kevin, you are wrong. There is someone more powerful than you. Oh yeah. Who could that be? Me. Hey, Dad, get out of there. That's for me to use. Not anymore. I am going to fix all of this. In the name of spirit itself, I did not see that coming my friend. See you soon James. See you as well David. Hey, you are not going anywhere. What in the name? Kevin, what the? You. Will. Not. Stop. Me. I will not let you do this. Kevin, this is for the good of the world. It needs to be done. Also, you are grounded, so whatever you say will not change my mind. Uh, wait, what the flying fuck? Dad? How did you get here? Wait, is that me? Kevin, it's me or Dad, but hours in the future. I need to stop you from what you are doing. What you are about to do not only changes so much history of this world, but space and time as well. What you are about to do right now could cause the world to end, and that is why I am here to stop that. Kevin, don't listen to Dad. He wants to control your mind. I am the president of the world, and I will say it, everything about it kicks fucking ass. He just wants to take everyone's freedoms away. Kevin, you have to listen to me. That time machine you stole from that scientist, he told me and everyone else your decisions can ruin space and time. I want you to take the time machine back and then go straight home. Please Kevin. Please do this for the world. Wait, do you really think the world can actually end because of me time traveling? Yes Kevin. This is nothing like back to the future. Please send the time machine back. Holy shit. I would like to take over the world, but I would not want it to end. Okay dad, I will do the right thing. Thank you Kevin. What you are about to do will save everyone. Alright Kevin, do you see that? He's going to stop what you did today. He's not actually gonna do what you told him. Watch. You have nowhere else to run. You might as well give up. Shit! Hurry David and James. No one can save you. Holy shit. He just disappeared? I think those guys did it. They actually stopped Kevin. I hope those guys are okay, and that Kevin is stopped once and for all. Great Scott Almighty. What happened to her? Is Kevin removed from office? Wait a minute. Is that? In the name of spirit, did David do it? I can feel the corruption created from Kevin going away. Hold on a minute. Scott, I feel something. Wait, what happened to Arthur? Wait what? What happened? Did we go back to before Kevin ruled the world? I think so. I'm going to check Kevin's room. There you are, Kevin. Hey, Dad. I did what you told me to do. Kevin. I am glad you are okay. I am so happy that all of us are safe, and that the world is back to normal. I wonder who's at the door. I'll get it, honey. 
James. It's nice to see you. It is nice to see you as well my friend. How did you do it? I went back to 1776, and the past Kevin was there, and I told him to take the time machine back, and I think that took us back to before Kevin went back in time in the first place. Great job David. You saved the entire universe. I felt the corruption of Kevin's world disappearing thanks to your efforts. Good job Mr. Davidson. Good job Mr. Davidson. Good job Mr. Davidson. Good job Mr. Davidson. David and James, you guys kick fucking us. You guys stopped Kevin once and for all. Everybody, I thank each and every single one of you for your efforts of removing Kevin from office. Mr. Davidson, you and James did a fantastic job. You saved the world, and your son brought my time machine back. But, just because your son prevented the world he created, and saved the space-time continuum from being disrupted any further, it does not mean it all goes unpunished. I think a fair punishment should do it. Listen Dad, I will just say it. I am sorry for what I have created for the world. I had no idea. I felt bad for myself right away after you told me what could happen. Do you forgive me? I thank you for apologizing to me Kevin. At least you were honest about it, and yes, I forgive you. But, like he said, there are consequences for your actions. Like I said before, you are grounded, but I never said how long. You will be grounded for 999,999,999 millenniums. You will have no TV, no video games, no computer, no skateboard, and no bike. When school starts back again, you will be getting after school detention every day for the rest of the school year, and you will be getting extra homework for all the things you learned in class. Aw oh man, this sucks, but this is what I get for what I had done. I will go to my room now. You know, now that I think about it, have I gone too far? I mean, look what I did according to my dad. I could have caused the world to be gone forever. I think I might have caused enough trouble. I should rethink about what I do. I should just stop causing trouble forever for the rest of my life. Well guys, this is it. This is the end of the Kevin Gets Grounded series, and the end of him causing trouble for his family, and students and staff at this school. I enjoyed making this series, but this will be my final grounding video. I will not make another video like this, cause I think I caused these characters enough trouble as it is, and also I plan to make bigger and better content. What that may be, I don't know. What do you guys think of this series finale I worked so hard on? I think it's worth it. Let me know in the comments section. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome content. Thank you everyone, and I wish to all of you a happy new year. Let's hope next year is better. See you guys.